Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Before we get to the next question, <coughs> there was a, another question on pictures. And Tariqah comes to save us. Tariqah comes to teach us that don't go to Allah as a hypocrite, that don't, don't let the ocean of hypocrisy dress you and in your beliefs. Be moderate and understand that you're in a dajjal area and that whatever you think you're going to live by the pure, pure understanding that you think you have, make sure you're not a hypocrite and that you entered into the ocean of hypocrisy then you are in the most danger. Awliya come into our life to balance everything knowing where we live by the hikmah of Sayyidina Muhammad So long ago we met somebody who came and said, Oh why do you people have pictures? Why do you allow pictures everywhere? And immediately the shaykhs began to talk that, look you when you say something like that you probably have uh, magazines in your house and in your car, yes. You probably have television with all sorts of pictures and images and women and zina and all sorts of images that are not even halal and not appropriate for you to be seeing, yes. Now with your phone you have thousands and millions of images every second playing onto your phone in your face. And you want to ask a shaykh, is, is pictures haram? Oh, you got to be crazy. Then you, you but and, and how are you asking me? By email. Means that you're using a computer that has thousands of haram images or any type of image. You're using a mobile phone that has these thousands of images every moment, every second. You have a television in your home, you go to school and you go to work and there's pictures of your bosses and the best one is they go to Eid prayers and they have dead presidents in their pockets. Those are the presidents that have killed hundreds of millions of Muslims and you take them in your pocket every time you pray at home and pray at the mosque or pray on Eid and when you pray with money in your pocket you're going on a mirage with them. And most people worship money and the faces that accompany that money. So if you understood how much Allah is going to punish us already, then your, your question is no, it should be silenced. Do you see the amount of the dajjal world that we're in? So if we're, if we're hoping that Allah is punishing us then this is not the way to view life. Awliya come into our life and to give us a hikmah and a wisdom, Ya Rabbi I'm in this place, this is the destiny you've written for me. I'm surrounded by all of this difficulty, what should I do? And then the hikmah of awliyaullah is that you should display pious people in your home, counter what shaitan is, is sending onto you. In your device thousands of images are coming. Why you don't put the image of awliyaullah to counter what they're doing? Put awliya's images on your computer. You know that the face of a wali is like looking at Jabal Uhud and the blessings of looking at Jabal Uhud is not understood. But it's a hadith of Prophet to look at the face of an awliya that they're on this earth is more reward than looking at Jabal Uhud. Why? Because Allah created creation in His image and the image of Allah is the surah and the face of Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet's two eyes look with the light of Allah This is Hadith al-Qudsi that we've explained million times. Hadith al-Qudsi that when my servant finishes their fard 
and begins to do their, their, their involuntary worship. I become the ears in which they hear, the eyes in which they see, the breath in which they breathe, the hands in which they touch, the feet in which they move, the breath in which they breathe. So much so they become Rabbaniyoon and they say, Kun fayakun. That's a description of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah is describing them that Sayyidina Muhammad sees with my eyes. With my seeing, he hears with my hearing, he's speaking uhi that every, every word from Sayyidina Muhammad is holy and it's revelation. Means then this is the Divinely face, the reflection of the Divinely face. So then that face is inherited upon awliyaullah. Because they are moons and the moon only looks to the sun. So when you look at them, you're looking at the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad Then we explained that the night before, minhi wa minhum and you'll be, and the hadith for us is that you'll be with whom you love and who you love will be with you. When ashiqeen you love Sayyidina Muhammad more than you love yourself. You entered into the station of Iman, that love of Prophet is loving you and as a result the love that you have is reflecting back upon you the lights of Nurul Muhammadi And your garden, you're a rose from his garden and your ears are on the ears of Sayyidina Muhammad Your eyes are upon the eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad Some even their breath and their words are from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad All of that reality, all of that dress, of course Allah accepts that. That put their picture in your home, put their pictures on your wall and counter every picture that coming through your television, counter every picture that coming through your office, counter every picture that comes through your telephone and through your, your television and through your computer. So that you can balance against what Dajjal has already put all around insan. So then Tariqah Khan says, stop the hypocrisy, it's enough. Why you have one rule for Islam? and everything else is free for you. Islam is an entire way and an entire system. So that's the wisdom of why they're bringing these rules for us, countering everything for us. You want to apply only certain rules and say, no Islam says this is not allowed but yet I do it for everything else in my home and in my life and for my family and for my children. They would say the same thing, they would say, there's no birthdays allowed. Then on the internet they give each other, hey, hey my friend, happy birthday to you. And say, oh look how happy it makes you feel and you telling us we shouldn't be celebrating the birth of the most beloved of Allah the birth of Islam, the birth and the reality of the coming of Holy Qur'an, the birth of Sayyidina Muhammad So everything should make common sense. And this is about, you know, stop the hypocrisy, inshaAllah. Click the link now to subscribe.